Here that I'm using is a 6610 Ford, manufactured in the mid 80s. And the mower is a Lilliston. Roto speed. PTO driven to a gearbox. And from the gearbox, there's a pulley with belts. The gearbox has been replaced, purchased at Agri Supply, and it was modified at the pulley where the shaft is coming out of the gearbox to the pulley so that it would be operating properly. There is approximately 20 plus acres that needed to be cleared and there were some areas that some backhoe use needed to be done as far as cleaning up the tree root bulbs and the mower, I went through a few belts. I had to uh, buy some new belts to finish the um, to complete the mowing process. As time went by, I added more idler pulleys. It did help quite a bit, or shock, on the belts, making them last longer. time I just put a brand new set of belts on it and in the video you will hear the belts were about a half inch to an inch shorter than what I needed and after it wore in a little bit and I retightened the belts it stopped clicking. And what I mean by clicking is the blades were touching. The belts were not long enough to make the back pulley on the mower deck further back so that the blades would touch. Let's try that. This was the last day of mowing. I believe it was November 9th, 2019. Look where it is. The back belt is 
too far forward. I should have said was the back pulling of the mower deck. My grandson, he is holding the camera, helping his papa. This is the new year, 2020, January, I believe, 9th. And there's nine acres on this field that is being plowed. Now, it's been since the 80s, since I had ever driven a tractor plowing. So if you feel that I've been doing this plowing wrong, I did learn a few things. I wish I had a tripod when I filmed this because the front end was off the ground quite a bit the ground was a little bit frozen in spots having fun using the brakes to go left and right even though the differential lock is working on it it was necessary to use the brakes It was very necessary to plow instead of chisel plowing or just disking. The tree roots needed to be tore up, turned over, and frozen for the winter to kill off all the vegetation. that I'm using is a 535 International semi mount three bottoms 16 inches I purchased the plow at M Nolan Farms Lapeer Michigan it's springtime I did not have the chance to do any plowing anymore in the winter. This is a second field that is 11 acres plus of that ground. And there is a little bit of grass growing. There is a chainsaw. Sometimes it's necessary to chop something down that the mower did not get to. A disc is a Krauss Model 90. The wings are missing. And with call to packers to pack the ground. And this was a long day. Grandson helped me. There's nine acres that was planted in August 16, 2020. It was a very dry day, but it wasn't but about... A week later, we did get an inch and a half to two inches of rain. 
that was so thankful that the Lord took care of that. The grain drill that I'm using was purchased at CHE Incorporated, London, Ohio. It's a nice grain drill. It is a Massey Ferguson. Model 33. At this time, the leaf is only one on per stem. It takes about four to six weeks before it becomes multiple leaves on one stem. It is most hardy for winter when it is at this stage. Winter is past and now it is June. This hay is ready to cut and bale. I leave you at this point. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos.